All right, guys, we've got two beautiful cars here, uh, but today we're gonna get back to the MGB, and there's a reason it looks like it hasn't been driven in a while, and that's because it hasn't. This son of a gun tried to burn my entire house down, so I'll tell you guys what happened, and let's get into it. Let's clean some of this stuff off. That's my kids or somebody, me probably threw this up here, stored in their car. This is my live stream setup so I don't scratch the paint, the 50 year old paint, 40, 48 year old paint, whatever it is. Look at that. Oh God, I'm scratching it anyway. All right, so I was sitting in the car trying to start it to take it for a ride this past weekend on a gorgeous day. Let's pop this hood. All right. And when I started it, she started uh, spouting fuel. Oh, let's get, a, let's get a light. Rookie mistake. All right, boom. She started spitting fuel all over the place. From right here, this connection, uh, this kind of, I think it's a, goes to the emission system, but starts spouting it out out the side because the, 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 the fitting was loose and it just started shooting out. It was going trickling down there, spilling here, running down the exhaust header. So luckily the car was cold and had it been running, so the car did not catch on fire. So I plug that up and then I go and I turn the key again. And then somewhere on the other side of the motor, which we're gonna go find out what's going on, right down here, it was leaking fuel again. And I don't know where it was coming from. So we're gonna get this thing up on a jack stand. I'm sorry, up on the jack and jack stands and see if we can figure out what it is. All right, so let's grab our jack. Nice hockey, hockey puck on the end. Careful we don't scratch the boss. Let's get her under there. I'm gonna be careful because I'm putting pressure on my garage door with a bike back there. All right, let's see if we can get the ramps under this guy. Get down here and see what the hell's going on. Because I don't trust these cars to stay put, or my parking brake. I don't trust my parking brake. I kind of put the ramps two different directions, so it can't roll anywhere. The ramps now, two different directions, so she can't roll off. We're, we're gonna get down here and see what the heck is going on with this car. Probably gonna get filthy and smell like gas after this, but gotta do what we gotta do. Oh boy. Well, I picked the wrong side to go under. That's for sure. And. Let's see, why are we leaking? Why are we leaking fuel? Where are we leaking? Hmm. All right, we're gonna do something stupid. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really stupid. We're gonna take this ignition source out of here and we're gonna push our tray back under. We're gonna turn the key a little bit and see if we can uh, start the leak so I can figure out where the hell it is from. So we're gonna spill a little gas in the garage. We should open the garage just, just in case we have a problem. So the pump's running, no leaking. So it's possible. That was residual fuel from the first leak, which I really hope that's the case. Uh, but I really don't want to risk starting it in my garage. So 
They'll probably have to wait until tomorrow when it's not raining. So we're gonna pull this sucker out and get it out and test it. I don't see a leak, man. It's under under that thing. I think puts out like five, six pounds of pressure. Looks like I got a regulator. It would be leaking. Oh shit! There it is. It's leaking. Damn, dude, I spoke way too soon. Keys out. It's not on this side, obviously. What is leaking? Dude, it smells terrible. It looks, let me see if I can hold the camera and my phone together. The leak looks to be originating I don't know what this hose is, but the leak is dripping from, I think, this guy. What is this hose? What is... I need to do some research now. It's leaking straight on that little that little electronic box or electronic piece on the starter motor down there. And, uh, yeah, that's bad. So, we don't want to fire. It is in a terrible spot to work on, it looks like. I just don't see where else it could be coming from. Anybody got any ideas? All ears. All right, guys. All right, guys. So this new fuel leak didn't develop until I reconnected. The initial leak was right here at the edge of this. I reconnected that. So I'm assuming something's going on where fuel is somehow going up into here, all the way into the canister over there. I don't know if this is connected, but I'm assuming it is into there and down in there and it's leaking from this. That's the only thing I could think of what it could be. If that's asinine, please let me know below. If it's possible, also let me know below. Um, I'm trying to figure out what this is. And I'll probably have it figured out before I post the video, but I'm troubleshooting live and so that's why this is the way it is when I talk about it. Um, and I might have an idea, but please still leave your comments below in case I don't figure it out. I made it way worse. All right, so what's definitely happening is I'm leaking through the emission system. Uh, an inlet float valve, an inlet needle valve, uh, inlet needle is stuck open on one of the, or both of the carbs, which is allowing fuel to run into here, which is supposed to be just for ventilating. Sorry, get some better light. So an inlet needle valve is stuck open in one or both the carbs uh, for the float bowl, and it's allowing fuel to come into here, which is supposed to be meant for just ventilating and it's running out through the anti-run-on valve vent and dripping on the floor. So, the problem here is here in the carbs and we need to address this. I'm gonna have to do some more research and kind of figure out what the problem is or how to how to take it apart. I've never done this before, and uh, but at least we kind of troubleshot and I think we've solved the issue and what the issue is after doing some research online. Uh, so. That's going to do it for today, guys. It's just a short video uh, letting you guys know that Bobby B was giving me some fits. If you guys commented below and you told me what the problem was and this was what you thought it was, thank you. Let me know. Um, and uh, if you got any tips and tricks to messing with the high fours, uh, yeah, I'll take them. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. All I wanted to do was take Bobby B out for a ride this weekend. It was so gorgeous, man. It was perfect weather. It was cool. Nice top-down weather. And she started leaking fuel everywhere. Uh, he started leaking fuel everywhere. Carbs were leaking outside when the, the vent popped off. Obviously, the vent popped off because the needle stuck. So I'm going to have to figure out how to take it apart and mess with it. I've never done it before, so it'll be a learning experience. And that's what this car has been all about from the beginning. It's been a while since I've been able to work on something that's a relatively quiet task. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out. It's something we can do right now. All right, um, stay tuned. Click, uh, if you enjoyed this video, click like down below. Comment, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what you think I should, what else do you think I should address while I'm working on it? Uh, floor pan would be great, uh, but it just, like I said, it's too loud. Um, and please subscribe guys, please subscribe and let's uh, continue to build the channel. I'd like to do some more Bobby B videos, get some more running videos out there. I got a couple friends with convertibles, random convertibles that want to go for runs with me or drives with me. Uh, some of these guys will outrun me by quite a bit, but they just, you know, everybody wants to go just for a nice little cruise. 
and that should be fun and I look forward to bringing that to you guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in again and I'll see you guys next time.